Hello friends, this is Joe with Charlie, welcome back to the channel. We're going to do a box, uh, box opening and a review here of, uh, <laughs> now when this box was in the living room, uh, one of Nick's cats laid on it. I brought it out here, this has been his box ever since, so. I hate to kick him off of it, but yeah, I'm going to have to say hi to the camera. There you go. <laughs> but this is New Air's 48 quart cooler, freezer, refrigerator for off-grid applications and power down applications and van life applications. I want it for uh, my van doing my van build for camping. This would be a good camper uh, refrigerator. Alright. You're going to have to move, buddy. Let's see what's in the box. <laughs> there you go. Better go get them. Oh. Alright, hop down, dude. <laughs> there you go. Let's see what's in here now. Alright, initial impression. Ooh. I like it. Yes, I do. Okay, first off. You need to move it around? Carried out to the beach with you. There you go. How slick is that? And it doesn't roll around. Get back in there, boy. Alright. It's not going to roll around on you in the vehicle because it sits flat. Alright, this is the way it ships. Let me get inside there's some goodies. It says stop. Please read. Okay, read it. All right. And a box of goodies. I assume these are plugs or cords. <laughs> First off, you got cup holders up here. See that? Another really nice feature about this: this lid is reversible. Locks down too, I like that. Nice. Okay. Another nice feature about this lid. It has, for you gourmets out there that camp, a cutting board that will fit. There's a little depression in here. There you can chop up all your onions and peppers and everything for what you're going to be cooking. That's pretty neat. Way to utilize some extra space inside. And bottle opener over here. Handle. Handle. Wheels. <laughs> okay. Let me get the camera over here and show you inside. In fact, I'll use my phone for this part of it. Alright, I'm going to do a little bit closer look with my phone. And you can see... Inside, we have two baskets. Why do we have two compartments, you say? Refrigerator. Freezer. How cool is that? A refrigerator and a freezer. Okay. Now. That's the control panel. I guess you need power for that. Speaking of power. We have... 
12 volt or 24 volt. Look at that. I'll be darn solar. Imagine that. But you can plug this into your wall or you can plug it into your car. And then here is where you would stick a battery. If you want to run off of solar, this will run off of its own battery. Didn't come with the battery. And from what I understand, it'll run three or four hours off the battery. And it will recharge with the solar, or if you have it plugged in, powered by LG. So, an LG compressor, that's not too bad. Alright, I'm sure you guys will recognize my Echo Flow, Power, Echo Flow River Pro power station. So let's plug something in. You can charge your cell phone with it. <laughs> Alright, let's power on. So, this thing will tell you a couple of things. First off, if you're plugged into your battery, it tells you what your battery voltage is and you can set it if you've got it plugged into your car if your battery in your car gets to a certain level it'll shut it off so you don't run the battery down on your car and have to jump start it let's see we want to set the temperatures so this is the big side this is the refrigerator this is the freezer outside it's about 78 degrees right now Okay, we'll set the refrigerator side at 38, and we'll, we don't need it minus 4, but that's how low it'll go. Let's just take it down to 10. And, wait a second, there it is. Now, how long it'll take to get down to that, I don't know yet. But there it's set. That's the inside temperature right now. And I'm not going to make you sit through this entire thing. I do not hear this compressor. Wow. Oh, nice. Oh, I can feel it already. It's got lights, by the way, LED lights on both sides. I'm going to go get something to put in it, so I'll be back. We're going to let it cool down a bit and see what happens. Now, one thing I want to show you, look at this. I care so much about you guys. I shoot with two cameras. That's how good I want to do for you. But I do want to show you one thing. The compressor is running. I mean, I hear the the Echo Flow fan, but I do not hear this LG fan at all. So, if you can read this, oh, let me turn it on so you can see it. All right, it's pulling only 50 watts in that range. That's it. So this power bank. This power station will run for 15 hours. It'll keep this refrigerator freezer going. And once it reaches the temperature, it will obviously quit drawing watts until it needs to kick back on again. So who knows how long it'll run on the power bank. But one of the most important features that I had to have is it will fit six Dr. Peppers. <laughs> See the lights? I guess if I'd leave that lid closed, it would probably start cooling down actually. But I'm gonna time how long it takes to get down, say I'm up to 70. Okay, so <laughs> obviously it's kicked on now. I'm up to 78 watts is what it's pulling. That's what I needed was for the compressor to kick. Like, like I said, you can't hear it. That's how quiet it is. It can be in the back seat of your car if you are car camping or whatever. And it's not going to, overnight, it's not going to be noisy. All right, it's been about 15 minutes. Let's see where we are. 
Okay, the refrigerator side is down to 40. I think that's where I put it. The freezer is down to 25. So yeah, it's working. I'll be darned. All right, let's see what my battery station looks like. Oh, okay. Still, it's, so it's gonna run around 80, 80 watts when the compressor's running. But still, I mean, nine hours. Well, I'm not testing the echo flow. But yeah, I could run it all night long. All right. This is my review. <laughs> you guys know how I do reviews. I don't care. It's two feet wide, 20 inches high, 18 inches deep. I don't, that kind of stuff. I don't have one of those old thermometers to verify all of this kind of crap. I don't care. I'm at 11 degrees and 40 degrees. Sun's getting ready to get on it. Probably keep that temperature. Uh, I don't feel any cold air coming out of it. This works. This I love. This is going to my van. I now have my power source. I have my refrigeration source. The van's coming together, folks. But who who would this be good for? Everybody. This would work for so many different things. Uh, I could use it out at the cabin, you know, if, if uh, I didn't have the refrigerator or the solar system in the cabin. If we just had a cabin with nothing in it, here we go. We got refrigeration. Um, in your car, if your car camping, take it to the campground. You know, put it in your tent. You know, it's a great cooler that you don't have to buy ice for. You don't have to worry about melting ice and dumping water. Um, van life, I said. It just, it's all around a great fit. And I've looked at these things and I've priced these things and they are ridiculous. This is amazing for only $550. Now, I get to put a link in the description with a discount code of 10% or something like that. So you, you could get this for less than 500 bucks. And like I said, it's <laughs> it's working off my po uh, power bank. You cannot hear it. I moved the power bank underneath the table so I could try to isolate just the sound of this compressor when it's working. Um, there's a little bit of heat coming off of it. I mean, not like going to burn me or anything. But, yeah, I mean, it's it'll throw a little heat out in the van while I'm driving. But that's okay. Very little. And only when that compressor needs to run. Because I saw it reach temperature, the compressor kick off. Then we opened it up, put soda in it. Gail was checking it all out, so, you know, it had to bring it back down again so the compressor kicked on. But great cooler. I'm going to get this video uploaded for you guys. If you got any questions, ask me. If I can't answer them, uh, New Air's website. It's a big kind. This is not one of those knockoff things. They're sold nationally. And, uh, I mean, Lowe's has New Air appliances. You know, they got refrigerators. They got air conditioners, portable air conditioners. By the way, if you're watching New Air, that's the next thing I want to uh, do an evaluation on is your portable air conditioners. Uh, that's what the van needs. But, I mean, fortunately, I don't need the battery or the solar panels because I have all of that already. But I love the fact that you can buy the solar panels and the battery for less than $500. I think those are like $450. Bucks. If you use my code, you can get this cooler, the battery, and the solar panel package, all of it for like less than $900. I know Alex has a Dometic, well it's in here, for his truck, he bought a Dometic one. That was $1,000 for just that cooler. This, for the less price, you can get all of it, the cooler, the battery, and the solar panels. So something to think about if you're going to be doing some camping, you know, 
that's what I was talking to Gail about. We don't have to stop and buy ice. We don't have none of that. This is just, it's here. When we're driving to where we're driving, plug it into the, the car and let it run. You know, when we get to where we are, we're going to be in the pop-up. And I got the power station or plug it in at the campsite, whatever. And there, you don't need a refrigerator. This is perfect. This is perfect. And when, when we have the pop-up, we can pull off at a pull-off or a rest stop or whatever and make sandwiches or whatever we want to do. It's all right here in the back of the Explorer. And then when we set up the pop-up, put it in the pop-up. <laughs> Good deal. I'm so happy I got this. You don't know. Uh, yeah, that's about it. Remember this Joe at, or from St. Bernard Acres. Remember to like, share, comment, ask questions. No, I'm not going to do a giveaway on this. <laughs> I'm keeping this. This is all mine. Uh, but yeah, I'll say goodbye for Charlie. He went back <laughs> into the house where the air conditioner is. Y'all have a good one. I'm out.